Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to install FIFA 22 on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip with 32 gigabytes of RAM. And this computer is capable of playing FIFA 22. I've tested it on this machine. I haven't tested it on any other machine, I'm afraid. However, it is working on this laptop. So the main step you're gonna to have to take is to follow the link in the description and install Parallels. So this tutorial is going to show you how to buy and install the Parallels software. So what this is gonna allow you to do is to install the Windows 11 ARM operating system on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, so you can run it in parallel to the Mac operating system. So if I show you how that works now, I've now got my Windows 11 ARM installed, and if I use my four finger swipe on the trackpad, you can see that I can actually switch over to the Windows 11 ARM desktop. And so this is going to allow us to run many games, including FIFA 22. So once you've installed Windows 11 ARM, what we're gonna to need to do is to buy a copy of FIFA 22, and we're gonna buy the Windows version of the game. Basically, there are several ways to get FIFA 22. The first and most popular way is gonna be through the Steam website. So this particular version, you can just buy straight from Steam, and when you actually launch the game, you'll be launching it through the Origin Thin client. So that's one option. If you try now with EA Play, you can join now for £3.99, or I think it's $3.99 per month, and you get 10 hours of free time of FIFA 22, so you can try it that way. And also you can buy this directly through the Origin client, which is EA's software for downloading and launching games. It's encouraging you to use the trial, or you can actually have it included with EA Play Pro, or you can go ahead and download the standard edition directly through the Origin client. You can also buy it through some third-party key resellers, for example, Green Man Gaming, if you go down to here, you'll be buying the origin version of the game and it's often on a steeper discount. I'll leave a link to these key sites in the description. These are legit sites that are often cheaper than the main page. So today I'm gonna to show you the Steam version of this method. Once you've purchased the game, you can actually go and download it into your library on the Windows 11 ARM operating system. And then all we need to do is to press play and we can actually launch the game. So when you launch an EA game through Steam, it's gonna launch this thing called the Origin Thin Client. Basically this is a DRM layer, so this just pops up when you launch the game from Steam. So it might take a little bit of time for this to pop up, but basically what I do recommend that you do is go to the game settings here and then turn everything to the absolute lowest, turn it down to 720p because this game will stutter a little bit and you want to get as much performance as possible. Here, press OK. We can go ahead and press play. Now, just before we do this, what I do recommend that you do is to connect a controller. At the moment, Parallels controllers are a little bit buggy. What I do recommend that you do is to go ahead and connect a wired controller of some kind. So I've got my Xbox One wired controller here. I've just connected my controller by a micro USB and I connect it to the Windows 11 guest. If that window doesn't pop up, just make sure that within the control center configurations under hardware, under USB and Bluetooth, that USB connection preferences, when you connect a device that asks you what to do with it, I'm gonna connect it to the Windows 11 guest. So it might take a little bit of time for FIFA 22 to boot. I'm just gonna press play here and then I'm just gonna demonstrate some gameplay. So basically this is how you get FIFA 22 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Please let me know what the performance is like on your computer. I've also been experimenting with different levels of performance. It actually might be better to assign four CPU cores instead of five, so I'll be experimenting with that in the future. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.